Hello, Bishop Seabury family and friends. Today is May 1st. It's a significant moment because for many of us, it's a milestone of our first full and complete calendar month of being on some sort of stay-at-home order or restricted movement. We entered April in this posture, and we came out of April still living the same way. It's our first full and complete end-to-end -end calendar month of social distancing and being prevented from fully connecting in person with friends, colleagues, co-workers, classmates, and for some, even family. If we went back to January 1st, February 1st, even March 1st maybe, being where we are today in the world, this environment is probably the furthest thing that we would have ever imagined. We never would imagine that the world we're in would look like the way it does today. Now all of this should remind us of just how fragile the plans that we make for our lives really are. If we looked at our calendar a few months ago, we would have likely have been able to project weeks, months in advance, the things that we were going to do, the, the places we were going to be, the trips we were going to take, the big family events, the big milestone moments like graduations. And now everything is up in the air. Uh, we're covered in an atmosphere of uncertainty. In an instant, suddenly, all of the plans we made well in advance fell apart. So in light of this, it's understandable why some people become completely undone. You see, most of us like to have some measure of control over our lives. A calendar and a plan usually assist with that, especially if you're, you want some semblance of predictability over your life. The plans that we set in advance help us. They shape us. They, they pace us. They, they guide us as to which way we're going, where we need to be, when we're going to get there. For many people, when plans come apart, it can become absolutely unsettling. I know from some of my travels, and some of you may have experienced this, just how unglued some people can become when a, with a flight delay or a missed connection. Now amplify that emotion a thousand times over. Folks, I know that times that we're living in are unsettling for many of you. This week, however, I took great encouragement um, as I was reading the appointed psalm for evening prayer from this past Monday, Psalm 138, verse 8 particularly. It says, the Lord will work out his plans for my life. Did you hear that? The Lord will work out his plans for for my life, for your life. Not the economy, not our jobs, not the government, not coronavirus, but the Lord. For the Christian, I, I believe it's God is the one who orders our lives, who directs our days. Now, it doesn't mean there won't be any trouble. Life can be difficult. Life can have its challenges. But if you notice, just in the preceding verse of Psalm 138, in verse 7, it says, though I am surrounded by troubles, though I am surrounded by troubles, you will protect me. You see, even in the midst of our adversities, even in the midst of our difficulties, even in the midst of our present trouble, God can work out his will, his purposes, and his ways for your life. He's the one who defines your life as you trust in Him, as you seek Him, as you believe in Him, as you place your life in His hands, the Lord's redemptive purposes will be fulfilled. I'm always reminded, and I'm very comforted by a line from one of the night prayers uh, from, from a collect and compline in the Book of Common Prayer. It says that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. God is the one who is our steady and our stability. He is our constant. He's the constant one and we can trust in him. Beloved, I pray that all may go well with you and that you may be in good health as it goes well with your soul.